Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. I'm 26 years old, living in Dallas, Texas, and I am a news reporter. And today, as you can see by the title, we are doing a what's in my bag video. And I'm so excited because this is one of my most popular videos on my channel. I think right now it's sitting at 8.6K and I, It'll probably be more by the time we watch this. Everyone seemed to really like it, so I feel like it's important to do that two years later. I have a new job. I live in a new state. It's a similar role, but it's a different job atmosphere, so I carry a lot different items this time around, and who doesn't love a What's My Bag video? Also, it's August, so school's starting, so I feel like a lot of people might enjoy this video. I hope you do. If you do, make sure to comment down a little backpack emoji. Do we have those? If not, um, do like a purse or like books or back to school something, I don't know. So make sure to do that. <laughs> is there a backpack emoji? It is going to, I have to look it up. Like I have to know if there's a backpack emoji. There is, it's red. Okay, all right, I'm not crazy. Anyways, I have moved to Texas from Alabama. I'm originally from there. I am a news reporter. I've been a news reporter for almost five years now or hitting five years. I need to do the math. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So almost, but I started in 19. So five years and counting. And I am I just love my job. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, so I've been doing this for quite a while. So I feel like now that I've been in it for exactly a year now at this station, I feel comfortable kind of sharing with you guys what's in my bag, I've accumulated things, I kind of have a set routine. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have and maybe if you are also an MMJ, if you are a future broadcast major or wanna go into the news industry, this might help you. So before we enter into the backpack, I kind of wanna explain my role. So I am a multimedia journalist and what I do is I shoot, edit, I produce, and send off my uh, work to the news station and then they air it. I also do stand-ups, I go live, I pitch my stories, all of that jazz. So I do a lot of things, which is more than what I did in my previous job where I was just called a news reporter. My role was called MMJ, but I would consider myself a news reporter. I had a photog, they did a lot of the legwork. I just pitched the stories and wrote them and voiced them. They did the editing, they went and shot it, they drove us around. They did our live shots for us. We just stood in front of the camera. So it's very different from the job that I have now where I do everything on my own, except for my live shots. I will have a person there unless I'm in the studio. So I carry a lot of equipment on me. I have to be prepared for anything. So this is not gonna be everything that I always have on me. I do have a work vehicle and keep quite a few things in there that are not in my backpack. If you have any questions about kind of what I carry with me in the car, cause I, I don't just carry one single backpack. I usually have like a lunchbox, a water bottle, like other things as well. So this is just a small part of the things that we have on us in our vehicles when we're on a story shoot or going somewhere for a story that we are working on. Besides this really large backpack, this is kind of what I started with and I used for quite some time. This has the majority of everything I have, but I'm gonna kind of show you guys what else that I use. I started off using this bad boy. This was my mom's. I have no idea what the brand is of this. It says a Miri bag. So I have no idea where she got this from. I actually use this quite a lot. She probably needs a bath. When I want something smaller and cuter, I will use this guy. I got him off of Amazon. This is really good for just literally holding like three things. My second iPhone, maybe like a mic um, that's wireless, and then also like business cards, maybe a lip gloss and a powder. And that's kind of all you can put in here. I also particularly like these bags because they can go like they can swing around you like this and they can fit like that. I mean, you could do a fanny pack if you want, but also this is like fits a lot more. And if I need something, I can just slide it forward and get whatever I need out of the front. So that's kind of why I choose those when I'm on shoots, especially by myself, so that I can have whatever I need right behind me on my back and I can just swing in and grab it. Starting off in the smaller pouch, right on top I will have my Road mic. Now usually I keep this in a pouch, but I was throwing everything from the other bag into this bag earlier. I also have this little pouch that was also given to me by my work. I wanna say it came with the road mic stuff. I'm not really sure. 
Um, it has like just some extra things in here like business cards, uh, have no idea what that is, some extra headphones, a pin, a ponytail, and some Germex. All right, what else do we have in here? I have no idea. Oh, my work phone. So yeah, I just, I did shove this in here. Um, this is a work phone that we get and then we used to, we actually shoot all of our stories on this. Some trash, I think. A receipt to wear. What a burger. And then I have my favorite lipstick ever. I literally keep this on deck. It's like in every bag I own. This is the shade 130 Nude Heaven by L'Oreal. It's just a really good nude. It's also glossy and I'm actually wearing it right now. In the second pocket, we have a couple of compartments in here. I'm not really sure what I can show you guys because it's heavy. Some pens and highlighters, my AirPods. I don't know what I'm grabbing. A random box. We've got a cord that goes to my iPhone for my um, MMJ setup. Another lip gloss and a highlighter. This is kind of nice. I'm like cleaning out my bag with you guys. <laughs> And then one of these Laura bars things, Lara bars, Lara? Is that like how you say it in the north? I wouldn't buy these again. So there is this like slide right here and this is for my laptop. So I have a laptop, my work provides me. Um, it has everything that I need on it to edit with, to send off my stories. So the first thing on top is my MMJ setup, which looks a little crazy right now. Phone will just stick on right here and it will plug in to this Rode mic that is attached to this fluffy mic and also to the other handheld mic as well if I'm doing an interview. I plug these in just to make sure both audio channels are working and I can monitor it. Also from another hospital, Frontline Medical, we've got some, I think that's like Advil or Tylenol, and then something on the bottom like lip balm. Oh, lip moisturizer, very nice. Some chips, that actually sounds really good. Headphones, again, I can't ever have enough headphones. I think I've shown you about four pairs by now. These are my JBL headphones. I really like them a lot. I got them off of Amazon. We have a tripod. This is actually a new tripod. I've only used it a few times um, for my iPhone. And I don't really use, this isn't the tripod I use for my camera setup. This is just something I use for TikTok or myself. It's a notebook. This is what I will write, like, I'll show you guys. There's nothing to hide. So I'll put like to-do lists on here, I'll do story ideas, pitches that I'm working on. I have a list of all when the schools start because I focus on education. And then this is from Target. This is my planner. This is my life. It has everything on here. I'll just kind of show you what last week looked like. She was intense because it's back to school season. Okay, so I think that is it for this What's in My Bag video. I feel like it went by a lot quicker than the last one. So if you have any questions about any of the products that I showed you, make sure to comment down below. And if I can find a link, I can put those in the description for you guys or find something similar to it for you. And yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to do that backpack emoji, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want more videos like this. And if you have any video ideas, make sure to let me know because I'll do them. I will see you guys in my next video and I love you all so much. Bye.